Okay, I lied. This is part three of a two-part series. Um, I thought I'd better throw in a trigonometric equation that's just a little bit trickier, um, that just uh, sort of comes out of nowhere, and if you're not paying attention, you might think that uh, you've done something wrong, or you've got the right answer, and you totally miss the point of it. So here I've got cos squared theta minus 3 cos theta plus 2 equals 0, and we're looking for theta between 0 and 2 pi, okay? So everything looks like, uh, you know, some, something that we're typically asked to do. So uh, all of the terms are on one side already. So what I'll do is start factoring. So I think this factors nicely. Uh, I know this factors nicely because I made up this equation. So cos theta times cos theta would be equal to cos squared theta. And then we need two numbers that multiply to 2. Well, that'd be 2 and 1. Okay, no questions asked. But since it should add up to negative 3, I guess both of these are negative. Okay, so I've got cos theta minus 1 times cos theta minus 2. Double check, cos squared minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. Minus 1 times negative 2 is plus 2. Perfect. Okay, so we've been here before. We know what to do. So cos theta minus 1 equals 0 when cos theta equals 1. Cos theta minus 2 equals 0 when cos theta equals 2. Okay, do you notice anything? Go ahead and pause and take as long as you want. Well, what you should notice is that you can't actually solve cos theta equals 2. Okay, let me remind you why. Here, look, here's, here's cos theta, right? This is cos theta, right? It starts with the maximum at the y-axis. There's cos theta. Now watch this. y equals 2. Cos theta equals 2 doesn't exist because look at this. Cos theta never actually touches 2, right? It just uh, happily undulates underneath 2 and never intersects. Cos, so cos theta just cannot be equal to 2. So when we look at this again, uh, this is saying, hey, hey guys, where's cos theta equal to 2? Well, it's not equal to 2, so we're not going to get any solutions from this one. So look at this. Uh, so this one, uh, we would just say no solutions from this one. Okay. This one, uh, well, of course, let's uh, grab our trusty unit circle here. There it is. And we'll just go here. Cos theta equals 1. We've done this before, right about there, right? So now there's another tricky part to this. Pay careful attention. Cos theta is equal to 1 right here. Now, this is known as 0. Uh, what are we in? Radians, 0 radians. It's also known as 2 pi radians. It's also known as 4 pi radians, 6 pi, 8 pi. You get, the, you get the drift. But we're only looking for solutions between 0 and 2 pi. So you might go, well, 0 and 2 pi. But wait, look at the fact that it doesn't actually have an equal to symbol underneath, right? If it did have an equal to symbol, those are our solutions. Those are the roots, 0 and 2 pi. But neither the 0 nor the 2 pi are included in this interval. So guess what? No solutions. Aloha. No solutions. That means this whole equation has no solutions. Okay, so how do we uh, type this out? I guess we, we can just go, there are no solutions. Uh, this is part A, by the way, on the specified domain. Okay, fabulous. But what about um, the general solution? Now, the general solution, yes, we're not limited by this a particular domain. So we're still not going to get any solutions from here because no matter if you limit or don't limit the domain, you just never will be able to get cos theta to be equal to 2. But cos theta will be equal to 1, right? So for example, at 0, 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi, right? Every full rotation from 0, right? Every hour on the hour, so to speak. So theta g would be equal to, g. how do you write that? Hey, you know what? You could write it like this. You could go 0 plus multiples of 2 pi right? But why write that? Why not just write the 2 and pi? Because 0 plus, that's irrelevant. Okay, so let's go, it's basically just multiples of pi, uh, 2 pi. Ta-da! Okay, um, now I just want to show you one last thing. I'm going to solve this graphically just to show you that it does have solutions, but not on this domain, okay? So uh, hang it tight. Okay, so here's what I've done. I've typed in the original uh, left-hand side of the equation, right? It was cos squared theta minus 3 cos theta plus 2 equals 0. So here's uh, y equals cos squared x minus 3 cos x plus 2. Now, I guess I could type in y equals 0, but y equals 0 is essentially the x-axis, right? And so wherever the green graph or the sinusoidal function, the cosine function, um, intersects with the pink function or y equals 0, that's where we have a solution, right? So there it is, 0, 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi, uh, etc. pi, right? So all of these pi's now, if you look um, at these values here on 
I mean, we have them, um, we have the roots at exactly zero and two pi. And since the domain, the specified domain did not allow for zero or two pi, we can not include those as solutions. So there were no solutions for part A. But part B, we did see that the intersection occurred every two pi radians. Okay, so um, just wanted to show you that just so that you're aware that sometimes there are are parts of an equation that will not yield solutions and depending on how the domain is written that might also prevent you from writing down certain solutions.